Fathers of Reddit. In honor of Father's Day, what was your don't tell your mother about this moment? While building the outdoor playset for my 5 year old. I drilled a screw completely through a board and into my shoe. Barely stopping just as the screw broke skin. I swore right in front of him. Something along the lines of mother f king f c k mother f k. We are sworn to secrecy to this day. My dad has passed away so I'll tell this on his behalf. My sister was maybe 10 or 11. My dad was very worried and had been waiting all day for us to come home from school. When we got home he pulled her aside saying he needed to have a serious talk with her. He said to her I was looking for a pencil. And found this in your desk and pulled out a plastic baggie filled with some dried plant material. She said. Oh. Catnip? He thought it was pot. We would make little cat toys with catnip and the bag had ripped so she put it in a zipper bag. He sighed a huge sigh of relief and laughed and told her he thought she was doing drugs and asked her not to tell our mom. He was so embarrassed. Saying this in honor of my dad as he is very old and does not read it. He once cut the end of my toe off as a baby cutting my sharp baby nails and my screaming brought in my brother. He joined forces to get me all bandaged up and told my mother I'd banged it into a wall or trapped it in a door or something. My mum found out, and by extension so did I, when I was 10. A wholesome one. For my mum's 50th birthday he bought her a set of vintage diamond and pearl earrings and a necklace. I helped him choose them out. I'm never allowed to tell her just how much they cost. My son randomly walked to the kitchen. 3 AM was finishing up some call of duty and he saw me eating ice cream so i got him a bowl and we were whispering like nerds he was four and i said don't tell mom and he said don't tell mom didn't do the dishes following morning and my wife asked who had ice cream this last christmas my four year old helped my wife wrap one of my gifts it was late so i was working the next day while my wife was at work she came running through from her bedroom first thing and yelled excitedly daddy. Daddy. I helped wrap your gift it's a surprise it's a slushy maker. Asterisk. Honey that's awesome but you aren't supposed to tell me that. I know. I know. But it's a slushy maker. If you know not to tell me then why did you tell me? Because I'm just so excited to make slushies with you. I was crying with laughter at this point and told her that it's an awesome gift but to keep gifts secret. And I told her we wouldn't tell mummy so she wouldn't be disappointed that I knew what it was. I ended up telling her that evening because it was just too funny and cute. Not a father but I was with my dad and we thought it was a good idea to start a small fire. On the porch. A wooden porch. It was made of mostly paper and we made sure to scatter the embers and everything but after we went inside into bed. The wind must have kicked up because we came outside the next day and there was a giant hole burned into the porch. My dad just told me. Hey don't tell your mom. I'll get it fixed. He the proceeded to cover it with a small table. She found out anyway and we're pretty lucky that the house didn't burn down. Dad and I used to rent a movie each week for when mum had dinner with friends. Usually things like Star Trek or action films. One day, I was about 11, he came home with Blade. We got about 10 minutes in and he turns to me and said don't tell your mother about this. Let's just say I forgot to get it this week. Of course I agree. Fast forward 7ish years. Dad blithely drops at the dinner table the fact that we watched Blade when I was about 11. Silly dad thought there was some kind of statute of limitations on this. Not a real don't tell your mother about this moment. But when I was little. My dad had a workshop in the garage where he'd do woodwork. I'd come out and talk to him while he worked. And he'd let me sit on the car that was parked in the garage. He framed it as something that was so bad and edgy and we couldn't tell my mom. And I was 5. So I believed it and felt so cool without actually doing anything wrong or dangerous. My dad. Brother. And I went out to these dunes near where I live with bottle rockets. We each had an empty milk jug and each took like 20 bottle rockets for ammo. Then. We ran around launching bottle rockets at each other. I was the youngest. Which made me the hardest to hit. 
So I won the rocket war. But yeah. Not a father but a son. We forgot my passport during vacation and were already at the border station when we noticed. My dad then said that we won't turn back but that he will figure something out. Turns out he smuggled me successfully across three border crossings without my passport. Before we arrived at home. He told me not to tell my mom about this. Daughter speaking for her father. In high school. Everybody was always busy at work or clubs. So I was the first one in my household to get home nearly every single day. Dad was having money troubles that he didn't want to disclose to anyone. So he paid me $5 a month to take the bank statement letter from the mailbox and hide it from my stepmom until he got home. It was the closest thing I got to an allowance. P. S. I had no idea what the money trouble was. BTW. I was always the don't ask. Don't tell person. So that's why he trusted me the most about this. Clearly all this bribery was causing him money problems. Not a father but a story about mine. One day I decided to pull a sick day at school and came downstairs and saw that my dad was making a coffee. I asked him what he was doing and why he wasn't at work and he said I could ask you the same question. We stood in silence for a moment and he said I won't tell your mum if you won't. When my wife's at work. I will take my daughter, 4 year old, out for breakfast. Then we will go on a small adventure around a shop of her choice and pretend whatever she wants. Last time we went to a car parts shop and rolled tires around as we were freeing the rollings from monster. So far my wife doesn't believe her when she later on grasses me up. Dad was putting new roof shingles on. I was probably 3 maybe 4. I asked if I could help. He said if I could climb the ladder sure. I was always climbing so that was no issue. Climbed right on up and started handing him shingles. It would have been a don't tell your mother moment had she not come home from grocery shopping. After several back and forth of where are you and up here mom she figured it out and flipped out. What is he doing on the roof? Edit. I'm not a dad so I posted on behalf of my dad. Story about my father. When I was about 6 or 7 we were really hard up for money at the time. So we cut down on all expenses. Saving change. Act. My mom would go out of town for work every other weekend. My dad would save up a few dollars over the weeks. Take me to Waffle House for breakfast. Go on a walk on the beach. Then take me home and let me play the I Spy computer game on his work computer. He would always teasingly tell me not to tell mom about Waffle House. I don't think she would have been mad but it was fun to have something just the two of us would do together. I have always worked in restaurants and get home late nights. On Fridays I treat myself to takeout. Not just any takeout. The bad stuff. Cheese fries topped with gyro meat. Steak nachos with guac. Always a large. Always with a big bottle of beer they sell singly. When my girls were little they would sneak down late at night and we would munch bad food and watch really bad funny movies with all the swear words in. I took both kids out at around 13 to show them how to drive. Just in big empty parking lots or in the neighborhood but they loved it and I enjoyed a little secret with them for a while. One for my dad. My dad took me to my first MLB game. God I miss baseball. Semicolon. Comma and told me not to tell my mom. Later found out it was because the game was a good bit outside of the travel radius set in the custody agreement. They were arguing a lot more than usual at the time so he knew mom would say no if he asked about it. But really wanted to take me to a game. Told me not to say anything so she couldn't use it against him while trying to take him to family court again. Luckily I didn't say anything and we got to keep sneaking away to games until the travel radius stopped being a thing. When I was in middle school I was the only one willing to go shopping groceries with my dad. He didn't want to go alone and my mom was at school studying her masters. None of my siblings wanted to go with him. We used to go to Carl's JR. Have a big breakfast. And then we went grocery shopping. Nobody knew. Not even my mom. Until years later. He would also let me buy any cereal I wanted. 
That's actually how I learned how to buy good fruit and veggies. How to order meat and fish. Etc. When my siblings found out they were angry BC they would have gone if a big breakfast was on the menu. My mom just laughed. Nowadays they sneak to have breakfast together before going grocery shopping since we're all grown up. Edit. Thank you so much for the award. Colon. My parents helped me out with rent during college. They'd send me a check every month for $800 which was honestly really nice of them. My mom usually does it but for whatever reason my dad did it once and spelled my name wrong on the check. Like Alicia instead of Alyssa so it wasn't just a spelling error but also changed the sound of my name a bit equals I didn't notice until I was at the bank in line at the teller already and I called my parents. My dad literally said the words don't tell your mother about this and didn't realize my mom was on the other line I to this day he says he was just distracted and in a rush. College was over a decade ago but my mom still plays the at least I didn't forget what our daughter's name was trump card now and then. Female co-worker of mine was miserable at work one day. I asked her what was wrong. She told me it was her anniversary. And she knew her husband had forgotten. She had preteen girls at home during summer vacation. And knew her home phone number, pre-cell phone era. I called her home phone and one kid picked up. Explained to the kid who I was and that she needed to call dad at work and remind him it was mom and dad's anniversary. And don't tell mom or dad I called. The next day she was all smiles. Gosh she did remember. Brought home flowers and took her to dinner. Mission accomplished. Not a word was ever said about this. Until 6 years later. When she left the company. She gave me a hug at a farewell luncheon. And whispered my kids ratted you out. Thank you. Semicolon. One night I was enjoying a small bit of ice cream after my 4 year old daughter went to bed. She came downstairs and caught me. So I offered her a small bite. But since she was supposed to be in bed. I said don't tell mom. She assured me she wouldn't. My wife wouldn't have cared anyway but it was a fun little game to play. After she went up to bed and I was down on the couch. She snuck into the master bedroom where mom was resting. She told mom that I had let her have some ice cream. And she was afraid of sugar bugs so could she please brush her teeth again. My wife just laughed at me the next day. Little shti ratted me out to brush her teeth. Something she doesn't like doing anyway. When my son was 6 I was playing Grand Theft Auto late at night. He wakes up and comes to the living room. Tells me he can't sleep. And asks can he watch me play. I say he can but not to tell his mom he agrees with a big smile. Maybe after about an hour he is playing and I'm watching and helping him. He can't stop laughing driving into people and running from the cops. I was telling him to watch out for the 5-0 and he asks me what that means. So I tell him it's the cops. He just shrugs and keeps playing. Now fast forward about a week later and we are all driving in the car. All I hear is a scream of dad watch out it's the 5-0. And I absolutely start crying from laughing so hard all while his mother is questioning where he learned that. He just says YouTube. She found out later that I'll let him play GTA. But I hope the memory of that is as special to him as it is to me. When my 3 year old wakes up in the middle of the night. Like maybe 3 times a month. Instead of putting her back to sleep okay her stay up and partake in whatever it is I am doing no matter what. Sometimes she falls asleep in minutes and so many times she stays up for a couple hours. I think it's amazing times. I think it may even be dreamlike for her by the way she speaks and moves. She has painted with me. Heard my books read aloud. Watched Lord of the Rings and cooked creme brl registered signee. The rulers. It's my time so if she's gonna be with me she does what I'm doing just like I do for her all day long. She totally gets it and never makes it about her. My goodness. Thank you everybody for your comments and your awards. My dad and I, around 5 years old, were on our way home from a car show when we were getting followed by the cops. My dad struggled to put on his seatbelt quickly in hopes he wouldn't get a ticket. Unfortunately. We got pulled over. This might have been the first time ever that I saw a cop this close up let alone speak to one. 
I was a deer in headlights the whole time. Well. With a cop on either side of the car. The officer leaned in and asked my dad why he was swerving. That dick told the cops I was tickling him. The cops looked at me straight in the eyes and asked if this was true. I was too scared to say anything and just nodded yes. The officer smiled and said. Never to do that again while your father is driving. Okay. They left without any further words and my dad gave me the lecture of don't tell your mom. Apostrophe. Semicolon. TL. DR. Dad and I get pulled over when he tried to get his seatbelt on. Blamed it on me tickling him instead. I was having a good heart to heart with my stepdad as a teen. We were chilling in the shop where he does most of his odd job work. And by the end of our conversation he pulls out his bong and asks wanna keep going? But don't tell your mom she will throw my ass through a window ironically enough the way they met was at a bar and my stepdad was hitting on her and she said she could throw him across the bar. He dared her. So she did. He told me that was the moment he knew he would fall in love with her. Edit. The entirety of this thread is so wholesome and wonderful to read it's taken up a good couple hours of my time going through all the stories posted here. When I was younger my dad and I would always go to the movies together. It was our thing. I always looked forward to it. Also. When I was about 11. We would often watch Family Guy or South Park together. Certainly not age appropriate. But nothing too terrible I don't think. However one day he took me to see Team America. World Police when it came out. Made by the guys who did South Park. I think he realized his mistake during the puppet SX scene. And immediately after said don't tell your mom about this. R.I.P. Dad. Love and miss you. Dad scratched the car after an idiot turned and rammed into us. He told me to just keep it a secret and he slid me a few singles to keep my mouth shut. But she found out anyway lol. My stepson is 6 and shti his pants yesterday. I was knocking on the bathroom door because I had to use it. He yells out don't come and I had an accident. Go away. I asked him what accident? He said go to your room I had an accident so I asked him if he needed help cleaning it up he said okay come and then I opened the door and there he is underwear on the floor and a paper towel in his hand filled with poop. It took a lot for me to not laugh in his face. I was proud of him for doing a pretty good job of cleaning the mess. I rinsed his britches we got him changed and he told me to get the laundry done so we knocked that out before mommy got back from the store and she is none the wiser. It was a series of moments. And we were shtty at hiding things from mom. When I was very little. Dad worked first shift and mom worked some evenings. Dad liked to watch the Twilight Zone and the like. I enjoyed them too. But would get scared after he put me to bed and they played hell getting me to sleep. Hence. Mom ruled that I was not allowed to watch them anymore. Every time mom was at work. I would wheedle until dad let me stay up late and watch his shows with him. I would promise that I'm bigger now. I won't get scared. I'll go right to sleep. And every time. Mum would get home from work at 10pm and I'd still be awake. Wide eyed and scared of the dark.